Now I know that journalists have to be unemotional and unmoved when we report what goes on in the country. But I seek your forgiveness tonight because I am not unemotional. I am not unmoved. I am one among the women of this country who leaves her office every day worried about whether or not she will reach home in one piece. Because it doesn't matter in this country how well you do, how hard you work, how well you distinguish yourself from everybody else. You will always be a piece of meat to be violated. I want to read out to you what has happened in the last three days. A class 10 student in a boarding school was allegedly gang raped by four other students. The school in question covered up the incident, transferred the boys who had raped this student, attempted to give her an abortion and threatened her not to tell anyone. A widow in Ravery was raped by two people who drugged her, dragged her into the fields of Haryana and then raped her. Minor girl was gang raped by minor boys. Four boys between the age of 12 and 15 raped her. In our glorious national capital of New Delhi, a seven-year-old child was picked up by a neighbor. She was raped and a water pipe was inserted into her private parts. She was found bleeding on the street when a relative spotted her and brought her back home. She is now in intensive care. Her mother is a single parent who cannot afford for her treatment. And let's not forget the young lady who was raped in Haryana, drugged, picked up and raped because she had done so well in her studies that nobody could bear to see it. Where is the outrage? Where are the leaders of our country? Where are the leaders of our states? Where are those people who show up during elections to ask us for votes? We are one half of this country. We are one half of the votes. We are citizens. We are not as important, obviously, see right now as all of the other things that the government is focused on. When was the last time someone in government came out and talked about the problems we're facing, acknowledged that they are failing us, talked about how they're going to change anything. Look at the data. The Nirbhaya fund is not being used. The fast track courts are not being improved. We are not actually getting cops who will help us out. The cops are actually chasing after VIPs instead of providing us with basic security. We are not important and this is not a question of politics i don't care which party you are from if you are in charge you better be doing your job and if we are having to report these many rapes in one day then you are not doing your job i refuse to walk away from this with the answer that india is a sick country full of sick people who are constantly raping india is a country where law and order has collapsed and you have abandoned the citizens of this country. This is not a woman's issue. This is not an issue about women. Every man watching today has a woman he loves, daughter, sister, mother, who's going to come back home from work and you don't know if she's going to reach home okay. Because your government, as much as mine, has not paid attention to the safety of women. This is as much your issue as it is my issue. Stand with us. And this is my appeal to the men of this country. Stand with us. When will you step up and stand with us? Why is it that only the women have to fight? Do you not care? Do you not have a daughter to worry about? Do you not have a wife to worry about? When will you stand with us? When will you make this an issue for both of us? To the good men of this country, break your silence today. We refuse to fight alone. We are not your babies. I am not your baby. I don't expect you to protect me because I'm your daughter. I expect you to protect me and give me security because I'm a taxpaying citizen of this country as equal as any other man. And that is what the Constitution gives me, equality and a right to life. You have no right to take that away from me. With your lousy police, your lousy law and order system, and politicians who don't care. We will take back this country because it is ours.